If you're looking to have AI images with perfect text, you don't wanna miss this because this is a good one and I'm gonna show you how I've been able to generate text and images. You're gonna need two things for this. One, you're gonna need Ideogram, which is a image creator, but they just added API access and their text to images is just phenomenal. And so, and you'll be using Zimwriter to do book messages. This, uh, this idea actually came from uh, my friend over Matt, uh, the owner of Zimwriter. Amazing tool, definitely check that out. Uh, I'll link the tool in the description, but I'll show you exactly how this works. So I have my uh, AI vault here and I can create bulk AI image generator. And so if I wanted to say create YouTube thumbnails, then I can do so using a blog title or a video title or, or whatever, and a prompt to generate that image. So I'm gonna actually show you a few right now. I'm not creative enough and so I, uh, just decided to create a prompt that will create prompts for me to add to uh, Zimwriter. So we're gonna test a few of these. So if you look at this, um, I have my prompt here, and this is the prompt I'm gonna use. And let's see how the uh, actual uh, things look. I'm gonna do three of each. So we'll generate three here. So we have the title, and we're gonna keep it all the same. So I'm gonna type in uh, subscribe to Brandon Duff. And so, um, so I'm gonna have it generate nine images, three different styles of prompts from this generator. So as you can see, the first one is going to be uh, right here, write a prompt about this title, less than 100 words. The prompt should be a description of a teacher, teenager with a surprise expression. Next one is a viral media image with text in bold neon letters, energetic scene with abstract uh, shapes. And then the third one's gonna be a bold poster with featuring the text in large futuristic typo. The bold should include dynamic, blah, 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 blah. So we're gonna go ahead and throw those in there and see what, uh, see what we get. So I have two of them done already. I'm just uh, getting this last one uh, prompted and oh, subscribe to Brandon Duff. All right, so we are uh, generating the last three and I wanna show you guys the results. So I'm very excited, let's get into them. So this is pretty amazing. I'm actually going to bring up them, uh, all of them. So let's do it right now. We have the first one, the first set is right here. Subscribe to Brandon Duff, face expression. I love the stars there, it's bright, I mean, this looks like a great banner. I mean, this is a solid banner. Um, I don't know, I'll just, I'll just close the first one. Uh, okay, number two, subscribe, shocked face. I mean, it's pretty good. Subscribe to Brandon Duff. Obviously, it's kind of spaced out here, but I mean, perfect. Let's see number three, subscribe to Brandon Duff. I could probably, you probably get some of this like with prompting a little bit more to get some of this like other stuff out. But I mean, you could probably crop that out too. So pretty, pretty good. Uh, so that was the first set. The prompt was image, a YouTube thumbnail about subscribe to Brandon Duff. The features, a teenage with a subscribe suppression, and then all of this. So as you can see, these are the, it. so <clears throat> to go back, the way this works is I use my prompt, right? To uh, put it in, to Zimwriter, and then Zimwriter creates its prompt to feed it into ChatGPT, which then generates a, a even more optimized prompt. So it's pretty neat how all this works. Uh, so let's get into the second set of pictures here. So this is the second series, and I'll show you the, the, the prompt here. I'm, let me actually get the prompt first. So the prompt was a viral social media image with subscribe to Brandon Duff and bold neon lenders. Uh, surrounded by a dynamic explosion of vibrant color. I mean, that seems pretty pretty accurate to me. Um, I like it. Uh, so number two, oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, number two, subscribe to, again, subscribe to Brandon Duff. They have little lines here, centered. I mean, lo looks pretty good. Subscribe, this is my favorite one, actually. Uh, <clears throat> I'm actually gonna probably 
put this on a lot of my stuff because of how good it looks. I mean, it's bright, it's bold, neon colors, there's arrows pointing to it. The text is perfect. I mean, pretty phenomenal stuff. All right, and then finally, the last one was a bold digital poster featuring the text subscribe to Brenda in large futuristic typo. This one, I feel like it didn't do it as good. Um, Cause the other prompt that I saw, it was made it like a, a magazine and maybe that's what the, the problem was, it was magazine versus poster. But um, I wasn't as happy with this one at all, to be honest. Uh, it more looks, it reminded me of like, um, what was that movie with the bugs? Uh, it was great. Oh man, I can't remember where they were blowing a star, Stargate. No, it was Stargate, something star, Starship Troopers. And it just reminds me of Starship Troopers. I mean, it's kind of lame. But uh, I love the, like the, the styling of the font. So that's a pretty good uh, thing. And that was, I wonder if they have the, uh, the font eye-catching, futuristic type of, I guess. So that would be something to be mindful of. If there's something like a style you like, let me bring you guys back in. If there's like a style you like, parts of it, take that from it and inject it into the next prompt so you can dial in what the prompt is that you're trying to create. I mean, at a couple cents per, um, I guess, go at, you're gonna be dialing in your perfect kind of creative, where now you don't have to pay someone to do it. And I mean, think if you took like that neon with futuristic and that really, like those top three ones, like, let me, let me pull those back up. Maybe I should do that, I don't know. Um, oh, by the way, if you guys want this prompt, it's in our community. Um, I have it just if you go to uh, uh, themoneyfriends.com forward slash community or just look in the description. We have a group of uh, 54 people now just gr and growing. So, um, yeah, group here, cool group. Uh, all of our trainings in here have all sorts of free trainings. Amazon Influencer, how to use ZimWriter, automate your SEO. Uh, and this is using, this whole video is using ZimWriter essentially. Uh, setting up a funnel, uh, content at scale, so different um, trainings I have there. So definitely check it out. Um, and uh, yeah. So I decided to add all kind of mix of the prompts to give me something that I might use for my YouTube channel. Let me know what you guys think. So this is subscribe to Brandon Duff, a viral social media image with the text in bold letters featuring a bald 30 year old guy with headphones on and just enjoying life surrounded by vibrant splashes of color, dynamic stars and automated arrows that invoke a sense of urgency and thrill. So that's what I have. Uh, and then we'll do, uh, let's do four images. We'll use the mini uh, and we'll generate those images. So, uh, oh, I forgot to do this. So we'll go ahead and generate those images and we'll let you know how they, uh, I'll pull them up here right after this. So I have not looked at these yet. And so this is gonna be a first reveal for me uh, with you guys. So let's, let's see the prompts what they have. So uh, image one, wow, they went all out, look at this. Uh, color palette, typography, visual elements, call of action, image two, I mean, look at all that. All right, so let's, let's check it out. So number one. Too bad. Subscribe to Brandon Duff. I mean, that's pretty good. That's real good, actually. This is AI image like generated. You would think this are real people. You guys are. They didn't. They messed up, and they messed up here. Oh, that's a first out of all those images. All right. But I mean. Yeah, perfect. I mean, these are phenomenal. I don't, I don't know what happened to those last two. We'll have to see what the, the prompt created. So the first one and the two were perfect, but three and four just, uh, just lost it. Yeah, I think they just went off the handles because they... Uh, Yeah, a little bit off the handles, but I mean, for a amazing 
One, I mean, that's okay. This one, though, I think it's phenomenal. I like the outline. Now I just need to like get that. I'm I'm just gonna put it on myself. I mean, that's people won't know that they'll be like, oh, yeah, that's that's Brandon. I'm just a little with tan and bigger teeth and a bigger nose. So that's it. Peace.